Got original 1974 Ford F100. Original AM radio, it's a fuel coal. Uh, it was in great shape. Uh, we've done a lot of polishing on it. Push buttons and all back lens, polished the outer bezel a little bit. Uh, talked to the owner just this morning and I had forgot about the bracket, but I did have one here. So what we've done is we custom made the bracket because you have Bluetooth in it now and all this is on the side. So this bracket here will be coming with it. It's got the nut to put it on with. Boats on the back, got the nut there for that. And uh, all we've done is just made a special bracket out of the original. So we've got this side of the radio open. And that's for your Bluetooth connections. Uh, done a roar design conversion on this. It's got AM and FM stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It does have pre-outs on it. If you want to add an amp to your speakers, he might want to put in more, I don't know. Uh, it has a pre-out to add a sub. Uh, subs you can hide, and they do bring them alive pretty good. And it also has HD radio, which it's on right now, FM HD radio. And this is pretty cool. This is the first one I've done with all the new push button and everything effects to it. It has Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, built-in mic, comes with an extra mic, and uh, we're going to demonstrate a little bit of it. Right now you're on FM, and you got AM radio with, a, with AM dial numbers, and uh, Aurora Design solved this problem because a lot of people don't want to change the looks of them, they're trying to keep the authentic look of the truck. So what we've done is we've uh, Aurora Design set this up for us. So right now, if we want to know where we're at on FM, which that's an HD channel, all you do is take this little button. You can hide this under the lip of the dash. You can mount it in the ashtray or in the cigarette lighter. W M O T FM 89.5 HD 1. Now it gives you a station identification on AM and FM just by pushing the push button or turning the volume up three times. Won't go to AM radio, just turn the unit off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Push your button. AM 650. 650, we're about right on it. Off and right back on. HD is going to flash back and forth colors and it's going to lock right on it. You can tell the difference when it does that. Makes them sound great. Now on HD, you have uh, sub channels. You want to go to a sub-channel on that one without moving the needle, just take your push button and push it twice. Or turn your toner, toner control up three times. It's easier with the push button. HD2. Goes to HD2. And I think there's only two on this, this one here. You can push it again, go back to one, twice. HD1. Ashley, who was a neighbor and friend. We have all the push buttons lubed up, ready to go. Getty for summer. Cool. Let's find one up here. There's an HD. It's going to lock right on it. What a great effect that's yeah. had on everybody. So now just uh, he and Emma have this special relationship. They see each other once a day. Well, she's HD2. HD2. Have I ever worried about HD1? Yeah. Just two on that one. Let's see how many is on this in HD. Locked right on it. You can tell the difference. HD two, HD three. Got three channel sub channels on that one. Quote, especially if you forget. Let's go to back to our channel that we like. They play all the oldies. Uh, I like that channel. It comes out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. So they play a lot of oldies. But that's how your HD and all work. Now this push button here, we'll put this radio in scanning mode. It does a lot of stuff. So we're going to go to scanning mode. You can do it with the volume, with the tuner control by going up twice. One, two. Scanning for stations. Now it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle move. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you like that stationary, you just turn it once. Station hole. She'll lock on it. I, we should change the expression. How how'd it go? Oh, it went like a hut knife through a foreskin. <laughs> now let's uh let's do it with the push button. Peter, All you do is four Peter, quick taps. One, News, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. She'll start scanning again. Just a few questions, if you don't mind. I summon the police. Uh, no need. You're perfectly safe. What do you want? Now, when you get a station that you like, push it three times. One, two, three. Station hold. Now, when it says that, you notice the little light is blinking. If you start moving it, you'll find it. There it is. In case you want to preset it. It was. Set up some presets. Just pull them out like you used to all the way. Now, uh, I think you're going to put one speaker in to start with, and it's, it will be a stereo. If, uh, if I had it my way, I would change out that original speaker. You have fader and balance built in your control. And I'm going to show you how to operate it all, and then when you put in speakers, you can do it. Uh, if you put in a stereo speaker, you'll have balance, which if you put one stereo speaker in the center of the dash, you won't have to worry about it. They're so close together, you won't tell the difference. But if you put rear ones in, you're going to be able, you want to go to the fade. You can hide a couple back here in the uh, in the corners. And let's go into that so I can show it to you. Let's use the push button. You can do it here, but we're going to use this. Let's go into fader by tapping this and holding it down. Fader adjust. There's your fronts. There's your rears. As long as you're moving it, it will stay in that mode. When you find what you like, just stop moving it and she'll set it. Fader set. All right, let's go into balance. Let's say he puts in some kick panels. Two quick taps and hold. One, two, hold. Balance adjust. Balance. Left side, right side. As long as you're moving it till you find what you like. You don't have to move it quick. Let's balance it out. She'll set it. Balance set. Now you got your speaker set up. All you got to worry about is treble and bass. That's pretty cool. That's how that works. All this is in your instructions, so make sure that you read them. And, uh, Auxiliary in, we're going to use this little device here that I got. It's pretty cool because my phone is like a lot of new ones. does not have an auxiliary eighth inch jack out like the old ones used to. But you can get this off eBay or at your phone store. And what it does, you plug it into your charging port and it gives you an auxiliary out and a charging port. So all we do is just plug this in and you'll get this, this cable here that you can hide in the truck. Mount it underneath the lip of the dash, put it in the glove box, and a mail-to-mail -mail cord. And all you do is simply just plug it in. Who knows, you might have somebody get in your truck and say, hey, listen to this. Pull it up. Let's go to music. Well, me and these phones or something else. So then you can play, you notice the little light's gone on the green, that's auxiliary in. Now anytime you're on auxiliary in, you want to go back to radio or whatever device, you can put satellite radio, XM radio, CD changers, your phone, iPods, MP3s, whatever you want to, and have that in your glove box and you can load it up. I don't got ink all over me. Uh, when you get ready to go back to radio, just turn it off. That's some of my redneck music I like there. And you don't even have to unplug it if you don't want to. In 20 seconds, it'll automatically switch back to where we had it. We're going to let it do that. But if you want to go a little quicker, just turn it off and back on like you're cycling from AM to FM during that 20 seconds. It just shortens the time on it. Automatically switch back over. Back on HD. All right. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. There's two ways to pair it up. Go to Bluetooth settings, bring up our Bluetooth. All right, we got it up. You can turn the volume up twice with the radio on. She'll come on and say, ready to pair, or you can hold this push button down. Let's do it with the volume knob. We're gonna pair up. Bluetooth ready to pair. 
showed up on her phone, all you gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell you when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Now we turn this up twice to get our Bluetooth. We can do the same thing here. We're gonna hold this down, we're gonna do a voice command. You got a built-in mic here and you get an extra mic. Hold it down. Play music. Well, music on my phone. Now when you get into that, you're screaming music, see it's designed so you don't have to have this in your hand. Bluetooth overrides everything. So you got a phone call coming in. She'll, she'll break in the music and say incoming call. All you do is tap this once to answer your call or turn the tuning knob up once. Just like changing your music. It'll change your music on your phone just simply by turning it up or down. It'll back up and repeat. Pollen's killing me. But that's how that works. Uh, you can do a voice command here, same as you can here. Hold it down. Let's go back to radio. Stop music. Put it in pause, right back to radio. By Ralph Rinsler, the folklorist who had. I pushed the wrong button. Now what we're going to do is make sure we're going to run a little test. So it will take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So if you're the one that wants to answer all the phone calls, hear all the, it'll give you the noise that your phone normally makes when it gets a text. It'll break in, give you that, go back to whatever you're doing. Uh, Amber alerts, everything. Whatever your phone is doing, the radio will do. And what we're going to do is make sure after you do the initial pair up, every time you get in the truck and have this phone and you pair it up, when you turn it on, she should find it, and that's what we want to do. Members. Here he is singing with his wife, Rose. Bluetooth connected. The song All right, is we're connected up. Journey. Now we're going to HD. There we are, locked on. It does real good. I really noticed the sound. I really didn't know what HD was until I got a new truck. And it's got it in there, and that's all I listed is HD channel. Over here, you got a little stereo LED. It lights up. And uh, all this comes with it, male, male, core, and all. And I'm going to send you this bracket since I did forget about putting that Bluetooth right there, which has been in the way. This is the original bracket. I just uh, modified it so it will fit the radio. So you shouldn't have any problem putting it in. And uh, that's it. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Appreciate it. Thank you.